Almost all the erosion that happens on planet Earth is from water erosion. That's because there's so much of it. Water, that is. But where did all this water come from? Oh, hello. What's your name? Hi, Willie. Uh, you're all wet, Willie. Well, your ears must have been ringing because I was just talking about you. Water, including wet Willie here, has been around for a long time. In fact, water is as old as the Earth. We're talking billions of years. About 4.6 billion years, to be exact. That's hard to believe, Willie. You don't look a day over 3 billion years. All water, whether it's in a puddle or in the ocean, is billions of years old. Water in this glass? Billions of years old. Water in this shower? Billions of years old. Do you know what that means? This is really cool. It means when you're taking a bath, the water you're splashing around in could be the exact same water that dinosaurs splashed in. But wait, how is that possible? Dinosaurs walked around in lakes, streams, and swamps. So how is it possible that a dinosaur of the past could have bathed in the same water we bathe in today? Well, let's find out. There you have it. It's the water cycle. Crazy. The water cycle is a mouthful, so for right now, just think of the water cycle as one big giant circle with no beginning and no end. Kind of like a donut. So how does the water cycle work? Well, here's the deal you do. One thing the water cycle has that a donut doesn't have is an engine that makes it go. And the engine that makes the water cycle go is the sun. It's true, the big fireball in the sky. Did you know that the sun is actually a star? That's right, it's just much closer to Earth than all the other stars we see at night. But it's not that close, because it takes over eight minutes for the sun's rays to reach us. Oops, sidetracked. Let's get back to the water cycle. Here's how it works. When the sun is out, its warm rays heat up the surface of the ocean. When this happens, the water on top will change from a liquid to a vapor and rise into the sky. And when water changes from a liquid to a vapor, it's called evaporation. You can actually see evaporation in action. How about a cup of hot cocoa? When this delicious beverage is first made, you can see steam rising from the top. That's the warm liquid on the surface of the cocoa changing from liquid to vapor. And when liquid changes to vapor, you have evaporation. It's important to note that when water evaporates, the water is still there floating around us in the sky. Even the air you're breathing right now has water vapor in it. It's just too small for us to see. So what happens after wet Willie and all his water buddies evaporate? Great question, Billy. Why, thank you. Well, after they turn to vapor, they rise up into the sky. As the vapor goes higher and higher, the air around it gets colder and colder. And since Willie didn't bring a jacket, he has no way of staying warm. So, Willie and his water vapor buddies all huddle together. And when water vapor huddles together, or condenses, it makes a cloud. That's right, the puffy white stuff. Think of a cloud as a container that is holding water on the inside. Clouds come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, floating over the surface of the Earth. Eventually, Wet Willie and all his cloud buddies, who are minding their own business, run into a huge mountain. Willie has no choice but to go over the top but as he rises, the air becomes even colder. Brr. Now when a cloud meets cold air, the cloud will shrink, but the amount of water on the inside of the cloud stays the same. Eventually, the cloud becomes too small to hold Willie and his buddies, and they overflow, creating rain. So the next time it rains, you now know it's because a cloud ran into cold air and became too small to hold the water it was carrying. And down comes the rain. From the time wet Willie evaporates from the ocean to when he falls out of the cloud takes about a week. This time, it looks like Willie landed in a lake. That's trouble. 
Willie could spend up to 20 years in this lake. Once Willie does his time in the lake, he'll make his way to the stream that pours out of the lake, where he'll erode the surface of the earth for about three months before ending up where he started, in the ocean. And when Willie finally makes it back to the ocean, he could be here more than 3,000 years. Until he's evaporated again, turns into a cloud, rains, erodes the surface of the earth, and returns back to the ocean. That, my friends, is the water donut. Uh, I mean the water cycle. There's no beginning or end. Water just keeps moving from one place on Earth to another. Sweet. 